With very few exceptions, we have so far used the equals sign in only one way to specify that two expressions are equivalent. When we say that 2 plus 5 equals 7, we mean the expression 2 plus 5 represents the same number as the expression 7, no matter what value we give any variables, because there aren't any variables there. When we say that 2x plus 4 equals 2x plus 2 times 4 is 8, we mean that 2 times x plus 4 and 2x plus 8 have the same value no matter what x is. But we've very quietly and subtly behind the scenes used equal signs in a different way. When we were talking about evaluating expressions, we said evaluate 2x plus 8 when x equals 2. This equals sign is used in a different way. We're not saying that the expression x and the expression negative 2 are equivalent. After all, x equals negative 2 happens to be true when x represents the number negative 2, but it's false if x represents, for example, the number 7. That's not how we understand the statement x equals negative 2. How do we understand it? We understand this statement as giving us a piece of information about the value of x. In the case of x equals negative 2, we're being told that x can only represent the number negative 2. x equals negative 2 is a very simple example of what we're going to call an equation. So an equation is a sentence that states that two expressions are equal. Typically, when we see an equation, it might be true or false, depending on the values of the variables. When we see such an equation, we're going to understand it as telling us about what values the variable might take. This is, of course, going to be most interesting when the variable actually has some meaning. What do I mean by that? Well, let me give you an example. Suppose that the variable h represents the number of hours of homework assigned for a class. If you know that h satisfies the equation 1 half of h plus 4 equals 3, that means that the number of hours of homework assigned can only be numbers that, when we add 4 to them, and then multiply by a half, we get 3. So let's see. Might h represent the number 5? And for short, we write that just as h equals 5. Technically, that's another equation, but it's really easy to see what value of h makes that true, namely 5. Well, 1 half times 5 plus 4, that's 1 half times 9, that's 9 halves, which is not 3. So no. You know that this class is not assigning 5 hours of homework. On the other hand, might h represent the number 2? Well, one half plus or times two plus four is one half times six. That's six halves. That does equal three. Yes. This class might be assigning two hours of homework. So when the variable represents something, Knowing what numbers it could be is very important. 
And so an equation that restricts what numbers it could be is very useful.